So I am walking um, next to the lakes in Copenhagen, which um, is a place where people go and walk with their dogs and go and walk with friends. And um, there are a lot of beautiful old buildings in this area. This one is an apartment building. I think it's a co-op apartment building. And so on the Sunday, the 23rd, there will be um, bonfires everywhere. In Danish it's called Sankt Hans Aften, the evening of Sankt Hans. And then we will um, make a bonfire and there's like a, a figure that uh, depicts a witch that will be burnt and sent to... The legend has it that they will go to Bloxbjerg in Germany, which is a place where witches go. So it's an, I think it's an old pagan tradition that has sort of evolved. <laughs> and we also um, sing us this traditional song about midsummer. Um, so it's sort of a marking of that it's midsummer. But it's a nice open area in Copenhagen. It means that you can always go and sit by the water and look at the swans and the ducks and take a, a good long walk around the lakes. There are four lakes I think in total. And if you walk uh, all around them it's about seven kilometers. So that's nice. I think that's a nice walk. And there are a lot of birds that have nests in the trees around here. And they can actually get a little aggressive during summertime. Last year I was chased by this bird, grey and black bird, I don't know what they're called. And I think it was because it had um, it had a nest and it was afraid that I would do something. So I was actually quite scared. I don't really like birds, but <laughs> nothing happened. But there have been some instances in Denmark this year where people... Um, have been chased by birds that have sort of pecked at them in the skull, so I guess you have to be a bit careful sometimes. Last year it was so dry in Denmark there was hardly any rain, so the, um, the lakes sort of dried out and the water got quite disgusting. Uh, but there's been quite a lot of rain lately, so I don't think it's such a big problem this year. So there are a lot of people jogging around this area. There's a bridge over there where buses and cars go by sort of to get to to the western part of Copenhagen. And out there there's a tiny island where the birds hang out. So um, this area is an area that Copenhageners treasure very much and I'm lucky that I live very close to the lakes with my husband. He was the one that had an apartment near here, so we're really lucky. <laughs> uh, but uh, it's also if, you, if you've been to the other part of the city down there and you want to get home and you can just walk Instead of getting on the bus, you could just walk home because there uh, are some good paths here. What do you think? There's a lot of birds swinging, swimming around here. I'll show you. So there's swans out there. Sometimes the, the swans cross the road um, and they sort of expect Once traffic sometimes to stop. cause a bit of a drama in traffic because they sort of walk up to the road and they just stand still and wait for the traffic to stop. But luckily people um, respect that, actually. <laughs> they stop so that the swans can cross the road. It's because sometimes they hatch their eggs in one part of the lake and then they want to go to another part of the lake across the road. Um, some people have observed, of observed that they do that every year. No one knows why, but yeah, it's... Uh, Good entertainment, I think. So I'll show you the island where the birds are. 